Hello guys, today we will discuss DPS that is device progeny service. So this is an introduction video to DPS and in our subsequent videos we will discuss DPS in detail and we will try it practically as well. So in this video we will discuss what DPS is, why we need it and how exactly DPS works. Okay, now guys, we want IoT device to be connected to IoT hub, right? I mean, that's the ultimate goal that IoT device, it should be able to communicate. That is, it should be able to send and receive messages from IoT hub, right? And IoT device, it should have desired properties as well. And till now, we added device manually in IoT hub. So for example, if you go to Azure portal, so again guys we are in azure portal and i open our iot app and then under devices we can see this device so basically we can add device by clicking on this add device button and we have already seen it but connecting such thousands of devices manually it will be definitely tedious task so we need some automated process and that's why we have dps that is device provisioning service so DPS, it is a service in Azure and at high level, it works like this. That is when device is manufactured in factory, connection details of DPS, they are added in the hardware of device. Okay. And when that device is switched on for the first time, it will be automatically connected to DPS because we have already stored the connection details of DPS in hardware, in hardware of that device. And through DPS, it will be connected in IoT hub. And again, guys, this whole process is automated. And now guys, this is the overall flow, how the device is configured in IoT hub through DPS. But before discussing this flow, we need to ensure two things. So steps before the device is switched on. So the first thing, as we discussed, device should be pre-configured to be connected to dps and again connection details of dps will be stored in the device when it is manufactured and enrollment list is maintained at dps side so enrollment list that means it contains the list of devices which can be connected to that dps and what desired configuration device should have when it connects to the DPS. And now let's discuss this flow. So again, the first thing, the device should be pre-configured to be connected to DPS and at DPS side, we should have enrollment list. So basically again, enrollment list, it contains the list of devices and what desired configuration that device should have. Now the first step, when the device is switched on for the first time it will connect to dps okay then dps will validate whether that device is authenticated or not if that device is authenticated then dps will register or it will add that device in iot hub then third step dps will provide the connection details of iot hub to the device and now as the device it has connection details of iot hub available it will authenticate with iot hub so that is the fourth step and from now onwards there will be communication between device and iot hub so that's it guys this was just an introduction to dps and in our next video let's discuss more about dps and its important terms